Welcome back for a solo playthrough of Arkham Horror Final Hour. Before we get started, just a few setup changes for a single player. So I'll be controlling two investigators instead of one, and I need to keep those investigators' decks and health tokens separate. Priority cards are not dealt to each investigator. The player does not maintain a hand of cards, and the lead investigator token is not used. And then the minor change for Reversing the ritual, player only needs to have three committed cards match the reserve clue tokens. So since we don't have a hand of cards, we're not collecting these. For each round, we will draw five cards and place one next to our scenario. And then from those cards that we place there during each turn, those will be used for the ritual at the end of the game. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start our action phase. We'll draw five priority cards. One of these is going to go next to our Cthulhu sheet. And typically when this starts out, I'm looking for the one that has the most omen symbols because I have no information yet. So we'll place this next to the sheet. Then we'll put these in numerical order. So the two and the 18, whatever cards we put there, we'll use the top ability. And 20 to 29, we'll use the bottom ability. And for our players, basically at the end of each round, I need to have two cards from each player in play. So we'll just start with Lily. So options, we can move up to one time, destroy one health, two health, and three health monster at your location. Or move up to one time, then investigate your location then activate monsters in the green zone, locations one through five, which is gonna be from this corner down to this corner. And just due to the strength of this guy, I think I'll do the top action. So move up to one time. We'll have her go from the humanities room to the elder faith seminary. Destroy one health monster and a three health monster, no two health in play. And then go over to Ashcan Pete. He can attack monsters at his location or an adjacent location for two damage, then move up to two times, or move up to one time, investigate, and then two monsters spawn at your location. And I think I'm gonna do his top ability too, doing two damage to this wrecker, and then have him move up to that location. Now it's risky, because now the next two cards I draw, I'm doing the bottom ability. So for Lily, move up to one time, then investigate your location, then two monsters spawn at your location. So we'll just have her stay here and investigate the seminary, finding an hourglass symbol. Then we will spawn two monsters at that location. Draw those out of the bag one at a time. First one is a red one with three health. And then a blue killer with one health. And Ash can beat. Move up to one time, investigate your location, activate monsters in the green zone, one through five. So we'll just keep him where he's at and investigate. And a diamond. Then activate our monsters from one through five. So up here, this blue mover will follow the blue path over to Sorority Row. Over here, we have a fighter, no one for him to hit. And one with no token, so nothing happens. This location, these two don't do anything. Down here, nothing happens. This blue mover or runner will come up here to the quad. And down at the museum, these two are gonna sit and wait. So actions are done. We'll discard these cards. Take a look at our priority cards. There's no omens on any of these. So that means we have a free turn without Cthulhu really doing anything nasty to us. We'll then take the top gate token and that will go over to the science building. And since we have two tokens there now, we will spawn two monsters there. First one, a red runner. 
and then a blue runner. Then we will start round two by drawing five cards. So out of our five cards, we have a diamond with two omens, a clover with one, and a moon with one. And our chances of diamonds and hourglasses are the lowest. So I'd prefer to get rid of this diamond, but not too sure about that now. So we'll get rid of this clover. Place these in order. So six and a seven will be top action and nine and 25 for bottom actions. So for Lily, choose another investigator and you and that investigator each lose a health. So we're definitely gonna take her top action. She can resolve two of the following items, move, Repair your location, seal a walkway with the gray side up, or recover a health. Well, since we're not damaged and there's nowhere to repair, we're gonna move and seal a walkway. So we'll just move back to our ritual location. And our seals, full health and damage, so the gray side up, and we'll place that between us and the athletic facilities. Then we'll go to Ashcan Pete. So he can move up to one time, then attack monsters at his location for two damage. If there are two omens on the priority card, which could be this one. We can do four damage instead. And the bottom, move up to one time and investigate, then activate the green zone, one through five. So we're really not in a space where we can benefit from the four damage, so we'll go ahead and do the bottom ability. We will move to the athletic facility and investigate, finding a clover. And then activate monsters in the green zone. So no monsters here, no one to hit. This one doesn't do anything. This blue one's gonna move from that location over to the auditorium and nothing and nothing happens. So then we'll go back to Lily. So she can move up to one time and attack monsters for two damage. Then move up to one monster at location, a space. Or move up to one time and investigate and activate 11 through 15. I think I'll go ahead and just move her over here and investigate. Finding a star. And then activate our orange zone. Starting with 11. Got a guy punching, doing no damage, and a wrecker doing some damage to the building. Nothing here. This guy doesn't do anything. And then this guy's going to move. And since this location is full, he'll keep on moving. Hit the seal and blow up. And then for Ashcan, we're going to do his top ability. Move up to one time if there are two omens on the priority card, which there is. We may move to any location instead, then seal one walkway connected to your location. And I think with that power, we are going to move over to Upman Hall and seal this location. That will end our actions for the reckoning. We are going to have Three omen symbols, which is gonna pick us to this section here. But for the solo version, there's different text. An investigator of your choice loses one health. Then the player places the top two cards of the priority deck face down on the sheet. During the next reckoning step, discard these cards and add their omen icons to the total number of icons on the cards discarded from the row. So we're gonna have higher numbers for this. So we'll go ahead and just have Ashcan take that damage. And we'll take these two cards and sit them over here so I don't forget to add them to the stack. Then for the gate, we'll put this up top and spawn two monsters there. Finding a blue wrecker and a red runner. And starting our next turn, five priority cards. So moon's looking like a good chance. And we've got a moon with two symbols. So we will get rid of that. And so we've got a one, 
14, 22, and 23. Lily going first. She can move up to two times and attack monsters at her location for three. And may lose one health to attack for 10 instead. Or bottom action, move up to one time, then investigate your location, then activate monsters from 11 through 15 in the orange zone. We'll go ahead and use her top ability. Move two spaces and attack for three, getting rid of this red wrecker. And for Ash Can, move up to one time. If there's two omens, move to any location and seal a walkway, which is really good. So we're going to go ahead and use that and risk the next two. So we're going to move one space, seal a walkway. And now two bottom effects. For Lily, move up to one time, investigate the location, and activate the green zone. We'll have her move down here, and investigate at the museum, finding a moon. So now we're back to even chances. So we really haven't figured anything out. And now activating one through five, green locations, no monsters there. Nothing happening here, nothing again, nothing, and nothing. So our green zone is very peaceful. See what Ashcan does. He's going to move up to one time and investigate a location, then we're activating the orange zone. Fortunately, he's in a spot where he doesn't do any good investigating, so he's just going to move down here. No investigation, and now we're activate locations 11 through 15. So no one for this guy to hit. This moves up, no one there. This red guy is going to run up to this location. This guy's not doing anything. Red guy is going to run from here over to this location. And this blue guy is going to do some damage to the building. So we'll discard our action cards. And perform our reckoning. So we've got two, three, four, six symbols. That sounds bad. So we're going to spawn one star spawn at this gate and then activate one star spawn of our choice. And since this is the only guy coming in, he's going to spawn over here. Damaging this building twice. So he'll put a spot there, another spot there, and then move this direction, which is full. Move another direction, which is full, and then end up here. He is going to have to be dealt with quickly. And then we will go to the gate. So two monsters will spawn up at that hall. Getting a red killer. And a blue one. On to our next turn. So five cards. Really don't know anything. We currently don't have diamonds or stars over there. I kind of want to get rid of these two. But I'm gonna go with the diamond just to help us get the right ritual components, maybe. So 10 and a 16 and a 19 and a 26. So Lily, move up to two times and attack monsters at her location for two. If we attack at least one killer monster, we can attack for three instead. Or move one time and investigate, but she's not in a good spot for that. So we'll just have her move twice and hit this guy. And then for Ash Can, we can move up to two times and reveal the top card of an item deck, and one of us can gain it. Or move up to one time and investigate and activate Orange Zone Monsters. Not a huge fan of either of those options. I'm gonna move and investigate. Go over here and find an hourglass. So we know those are no good. So 
this is a useless card over here. And locations 11 through 15. So fighting, no effect, no monsters, no token. Red guy is going to move this direction. And then this guy is going to punch a hole and then move this direction, hitting the gate, blowing himself up. So we need some healing up here. So Lily, she can move up to one time and attack monsters for two damage, then move a monster in that space, or move and investigate, activating the purple zone. Purple zone has a lot of stuff going on, so I'll do the top action. Moving a space and hitting for two damage, taking care of these two monsters. And Ashcan Pete's bottom ability, move up to one time, Investigate the location, then activate the purple zone. So we'll have him go over to Derby Hall, seeing that stars are no good for us. Then six through 10, this guy's gonna punch us. So we're gonna take a damage. And here we've got a lot of movement. So, this space is full, onto this space, and on to there. This one's movement, ending up in the same location. Then this one's gonna do the same thing, hitting a seal, damaging that, and blowing up. And over here, we've got a blue mover coming to this location, and a red mover going down, then up to this spot. And monsters will only activate once. So he will not activate again. So nothing going on here. And then over here, this blue one's going to move this direction back to the science building. That will end our activations. Going into the reckoning phase, we have four omen symbols, which means someone's taking the damage. We'll let Lily take it. And then we get two cards down here. And the next gate token is going to be at Upman Hall. So we're going to get three monsters. First one, a red fighter. So that's full. It's going to move down to the science building. Then a red runner. So that's full. Moving to science. Then down to the observatory. And then another red runner. So coming down this way, and then working his way over to the Miskatonic Museum. So if things go well, I might be able to end the game this round. But we'll see. I'm going to have to get lucky. So five cards. Well, that's not going well. That's a lot of omen. So we've got two stars and an hourglass, which we know is no good. Stars are no good. So moons and diamonds. Well, we'll go with diamonds. And this is going to hurt. So three, four, 28 and 30. Spoke too soon about trying to end the game. So Lily. So she can move one time and destroy a one health, two health, three health monster at her location. And that is definitely what she's gonna do. So she'll move here. Killing a one health, two health, and trouble. And we'll go on the ash can. So you move up to two times, reveal the top card of the deck, and one of us might get that item, but instead I'm gonna do its bottom ability because I don't wanna risk us getting health or losing health. So moving one time and investigating. So we move here, finding a key. I was hoping for another symbol. So discard this item at any time and flip the top card of two action decks. And then we're activating monsters in the purple zone, six through 10. So nothing going on here. This location, blue guy's running, it's full. So he'll take another spot. 
Then over here, blue guy is going to move this direction. Over here, red guy is going to run this direction. And down here, red guy is going to run. And I'll go ahead and use this so I can see our cards here. So we're definitely going to use that card for the top part. So we can do two of these items, which is going to be easy. We're going to move one time and repair our location one time. So we'll move up here and repair this location. And then Ashcan is going to move one time and investigate. So he'll just move over here. Nothing to investigate. And then a monster spawns at each gate. So first gate, getting a blue wrecker. Then a red guy with no ability. Location's full, so he's going to run down to this gate. And then we've got another red guy doing nothing. Gate's full, so he's going to move down to the observatory. Then we're going to get a gate. So that means we're going to get three monsters over at the science building. First one is a blue killer. Can't go there. Moves over to the auditorium. Then a red wrecker. So from here, moves down. Then over to the administration. Then Miskatonic Museum. And then up to the library. And then we've got a red runner who's going to follow the same path to the library. I went a little out of order there, but I don't think it's going to affect anything. So discard these. We got lucky there with nothing, but it didn't matter. We have seven omen symbols here, which is going to each investigator loses two health. So Ashcan Pete is barely holding on. And over here, Lily's take some damage. So at the end of the round, we can try to solve a ritual. We know hourglasses are no good. Stars are no good. And we have one symbol of each other thing. So there's no way we can win at this moment. So we're going to have to go on one more turn at least. I'm going to draw five cards, so shuffle our discard pile. Drawing four more cards. And now we're guessing between clovers, diamonds, and moons. Well, those are easy, so we're guessing between diamonds and clovers. So it doesn't matter, we'll just pick diamonds. And then see if we can live through this round and hope diamonds was the lucky choice. So all our activation cards are done, so we need to shuffle those. So we'll start with Lily. Definitely not choosing to take lose some health. But what we will do is repair a location and recover a health. Fortunately, we cannot put another seal on a walkway that already has a seal. So do a little repair and repair to ourselves. Then for Ashcan, let's see. Discard the top card of your action deck and resolve its bottom effect. Cannot move or investigate while resolving that card. Or you could move up to one time and seal a walkway. Might as well try that. We'll move up here and put a seal there. And hope these aren't too bad. Move up to one time, then investigate your location. Activate monsters in locations 6 through 10, also known as the purple zone. It's got nowhere good to go investigate, so we'll just move back to the quad. This area, nothing's happening. This area, blue's going to move to this space, which is full, so he'll go to this space. Here, nothing happens. Here, red guy's moving this direction, and then back up here. And down here, nothing happens. 
And I'm sorry, that was Lily's turn. So she'll just move to the athletics facility. Now for Ashcan. He'll move up to one time and investigate. And then two monsters at his location. Only one in the bag. So we've got a blue wrecker. Put the rest of the monsters back in the bag. And get a red wrecker. Then discard the cards. We have one omen symbol. So we're going to activate each deep one in any order. Fortunately, all the deep ones are off the board. So then we'll spawn two deep ones at the location. First one comes in, can't fit, so he'll move and hit a seal and die. And the second one comes in and moves over to Sorority Row. And now we spawn a gate. So that's going to come up here, spawning three monsters. First one's red, comes in, it's full, moves down to the student union. Next one is blue, it's full, moves down, hits a seal, and blows himself up in the seal. And the next one is blue, comes in and moves down in Lily's location. And now we have the option of resolving the ritual or failing to resolve the ritual if we are wrong, or going another turn. So basically what it comes down to, with possibility of a moon, a clover, and a diamond. So if it's diamonds, we've got this. If it's not, we've lost. But Ashcan only has one health, so if we continue, he's open to be killed. And I think I'm gonna risk it. And by risk it, I mean taking another turn. So five cards. Stars are useless. That's putting too much on diamonds. So we need a moon or a clover. And this probably isn't gonna kill us. So we'll put the clover to the side. So if we can survive and get to the ritual, we should be winning. So seven, nine, 15, and 28. We have Lily go first. She can move up to one time and destroy a one, two, and three health monster, which is what she's gonna do. Go up here, get rid of the blue runner and the blue wrecker, killing a one and a three. Ash can. He'll go ahead and move one time, going anywhere on the board and sealing a walkway because that could kill him either way. So huge risk. So the best place to seal is right there. Now two bad effects. Move up to one time, investigate, and then activate location six through 10. No use in moving. So six, nothing's happening. Seven, nothing's happening. Nothing at eight, nothing at nine, nothing at 10. So that worked well. And then for Ashcan, move up to one time, investigate the location, then a monster spawns at each gate. We'll move over here for safety and spawn three monsters. First monster, red killer. Next one is a red with nothing. So that's full, moves down, that's full, moves down, moves up. And at the science building, a blue guy, from here, we'll move over this direction. So that's our actions. So going into the Reckoning, we have five symbols.
That means we're gonna spawn a star spawn at that gate and then activate him. So he's gonna come in here, move over to this location, do one damage, then move, move, move. Oops, I'm sorry. Did the damage here, moved over, then moves again and hits a seal and blows himself up. And now for the gate token, coming in at probably, well, doesn't matter where they come in. All bad, all places are bad. So four monsters popping out there. And we have, first one is gonna be a blue wrecker. He can fit in there. Next one's a red wrecker. Comes in and then moves a lot. All over the board, over here, over here. All right, visited the whole campus. And we've got a blue runner. So we're gonna come in and move to the ritual location. And our bag is empty. So we'll put these guys back in the bag and draw one more. And the blue wrecker pops in and moves down to the ritual location. So we survived the turn. Now to reverse the ritual. Got a moon, two clovers, and two diamonds. So we need three of these to match. So we've got diamonds and clovers. So we have reversed the cultist ritual and saved the world. And that's the basics of how to play Arkham Horror Final Hour. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If so, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.